Coach Elizabeth here with your tip for the week, and that is around tackling mom guilt or dad guilt, right? Uh, I know dads feel guilty as well. Um, but this has been something that I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video on. So I thought it was perfect timing. A lot of my clients have long-term travel obligations with work coming up and they've been racked with mom guilt. And so I thought I would share with you the four tips that I teach them um, so that you can have a little bit more pleasurable travel and let yourself off the guilt trip okay so the first one is is to put down your phone when you are at home with your kids so we've all been guilty of it we're trying to bang out that last email to our boss um you know and be super responsive whenever they reach out and the kid walks up right and it could be for something silly you know like another snack or something so it's easy to just kind of dismiss them or tell them just to be patient right just be patient and i get it we should teach kids to have patience and be respectful but not to this i feel like this this is the thing where it doesn't it shouldn't be winning out over giving them your attention right so prioritize them if they walk up and you're on your phone just put it down just whatever you're doing it can wait they are way more important than whoever is on the receiving end of that text message or that email that you think you just have to get out right now it can wait you want to show them that you love them and you care about them and you're giving them attention and hopefully that will sidestep some of the tantrums that could come down the road if you don't give them attention now they could actually ask for your attention in a much harsher way later so that's number one number two is to make one-on-one -on -one time so really carve out one-on-one -on -one time with them um i used to think that one-on-one -on -one time was you know taking them somewhere fabulous right uh, like breakfast or Disney World or the zoo or something like that. But what I realized is, is that my kids don't need big fancy places to go. They just want me. So now whenever I go to Starbucks, I just put one of them in the car with me and maybe they'll go in and they'll get a pouch and we'll hang out and talk a little bit while mommy's getting her coffee. Or I will bring them to the grocery store with me, which sometimes seems like a total test of my patience, right? When I just want to get in and get out. But when they get to ride along, they really enjoy it. It's a fun adventure for them. So carve out more one-on-one -on -one time with them when you are home. Um, the third tip is to stay front of mind when you are traveling for work or, or for pleasure. Anytime you're gone, let's say more than two or three nights, um, do a little leave behind so that they know that even though they're out of sight, they're not out of mind. One thing that I tell my clients to do that is super fun for kids is to send flowers, right? You can send flowers to whoever is watching them. Maybe it's a spouse or a relative and address the flowers to the kids, right? They come home, they see that mommy sent them flowers and there's a note that says, you know, even though I'm away, I think of you every day, you know, something really sweet like that. So they know that just because you're gone, it doesn't mean that you've forgotten about the day-to-day -day stuff that's going on at home. Um, another fun tip is to write a bunch of letters and leave them with the caretaker and say, for each day that I'm gone, please put one of these in their backpack or their lunchbox or read it to them at night before bed. Um, it's a great way, again, for them to know that you're thinking of them. Another way to do this is to um, order some Grubhub or Postmates for dinner for them. So even though you're not home to make dinner, it can relieve some of your guilt if you have from wherever you are, ordered them food, and you can just send your spouse a text that food's on the way, it'll be there in 30 minutes. You know, maybe it's their favorite pizza place, whatever, but they're gonna know that mommy's thinking of them. So this is, this is such a win-win, right? They know that you still love them, you're thinking about them, they're gonna be less resentful when you do travel because maybe they think something fun on the other end is a possibility, right? These notes or pizza or whatever. And then for you, it lessens your guilt because you know that you're still contributing, right? You know that they know that you still love them even though you're away. So the fourth tip is to let yourself off the hook. There will be other recitals. I know it's heartbreaking to miss anything, right? Even the smallest thing. It could be volunteering at their school to read a story and you miss it because you're out of town or you have a conference call that you can't move. But there will be others. They've got a big, long, beautiful life ahead of them and many other opportunities for you to be there. So if you have to miss one thing, please let yourself off the hook and enjoy that wonderful hotel room with your clean sheets and your glass of wine and your room service or whatever dinner you're out in because you beating yourself up and suffering and telling you yourself you're a bad mom for being away from them 
does nobody any good. It doesn't make them think that you love them anymore. All it does is take away from the joy that you could be experiencing at any given moment.